I remember one night there was about three of us out in Clifton and um, there was a fight near the bottom end of the estate and some guy came out with a padlock wrapped around his fist and then the police turn up, stay where you are and there's like 30 of us, yeah, so we all just peg it and we go for miles and then you end up with a couple of people you don't really know and your other mates are somewhere else. When I think of it like that, they, they were good times. We met Rick and we were meant to record two songs and ended up recording quite a few so some people put one or two microphones in front of the eye and you see what happens, don't you? And I hold you with such dialogue. I kind of been spoiled in a way. How can you think of recording anywhere else? No, they won't catch you. So we're going to play it one more time. Yes. Do you know when we're going into the bridge, is there a way that, that you could be on a high note before the bridge? Because that's the one spot where we needed not a dynamic shift, but something needs to happen. Can we just practice that real quick? What was that? So really good. Let's just play it one more time just like that. One. I remember I played this song from Kentucky in the home side. And what part of America are you from? That's what people are asking me. I'm from Nottingham, I'm from England. <laughs> no, I can never forget what happened. That's what made me into who I am. That's the fucking truth. I don't think I'm messing about. It's coming. Yes. Hi, everybody. It's looking someone died and say somehow we better speak it. When I'm travelling around, I write more philosophical lyrics than more observational ones. You have to kind of read into it a bit more. It was like, it was kind of the thing I dreamt about when I was little. Johnny Cash is probably stood in this exact same spot doing the same fucking thing. slightly about what I'm going to sing and what melody I'm going to sing, but sometimes I think it's just best to just sing and let it come out itself. But you have to be honest as well. You have to mean what you're singing. You know, we all have things that we might not want to speak about and they might not want to share or people finding out. If I could talk about them, I'd, I'd talk about them, but I find it difficult, so I write songs about them. And I think by doing so, I think it's, it's good for me, it's good for my soul to get it out there. As the crow flies straight. You know, like all those old blues records, you know, you can, you can feel the pain in the voice and the, you know, the, the depression and something you can't really explain, I guess. I try not to visualize all the people's eyes and the compromising ways. And as I leave them far behind, I try to hide the root of my escape. We're going to uh, the crossroads, which is 
where we got the story of Robert Johnson. Will they say he sold his soul at the crossroads? At the stroke of midnight, and the devil came and tuned his guitar. And then he went back to uh, Mississippi, and uh, six months he was uh, one of the greatest players that was around. Come on in the kitchen and all of my love, cause all the things Papa might have done, I don't know what he might do. It was just jealousy, wasn't it? That they, they didn't believe anybody could come up with such new way of playing guitar, so he had to have sold his soul to yeah, the Apparently, he likes that concept. He liked the idea of people thinking that. They say he died by, he got poisoned by a jealous husband. Others say that he was, he died barking at the moon on all fours. Previously, already had a lot of American influence. I love Jimi Hendrix, so I'll always pick up an electric guitar whenever I can. I'm in fucking LA. What the fuck am I doing here? It's all over all of the time. And if you want to, I won't mind. Please don't leave it. I don't know what to do. No, they won't catch me. Thank you, sir. Next song. That's the other one. Messed up kids. Just do it. We're setting up for messed up kids. Mm.